Yeah. I'm here. And, uh, ready to play. We're supposed to be going up here. For some reason. To gain access to Dima's terminal. Woohoo, loading screens. Okay. Hold on, this, this FOV is weird. <coughs> I'm not used to it, even though I last played this yesterday. I think it's a gun. The gun's messing me up. Yeah, okay. Gun's too big. What's down this way? Got a weapons workbench. That's it, just a weapons workbench. Okay, well actually let's use this while we're here. Should be able to upgrade like something. Hopefully. Question is, what do I want to upgrade? I don't have enough oil. I'll pass. Alright, I guess we didn't actually need to use that. The workbench, I mean. I already got the max upgrade. Alright. Pretty sure I saw a door to my right. Yeah, I did. Going so off course right now. It's fantastic. all that was in here. I guess so. Hold on, is that an aluminum can? Oh, it's tin. See lasers over there? Why is there a dead child of Adam dude in here? What? Another one? Another one. Oh Jesus. Approach and I 
Oh god. Okay, just two more. Easy. I'm carrying too much and can't run. Because I have two freaking sniper rifles. Alright, I'm gonna put one in here. Hopefully I remember where it is. I'm just gonna take a picture. Because I gotta remember. Okay. No, thank you. Whoa. Yeah. Why are there enemies in here? What? Oh my god, that potato aim. in the Blast Radius board game. I almost walked right by that ammo box. Jesus. Oh, I missed this. I almost walked right by that ammo box. Jesus. Oh my god. You got it, Data. It's in here. Anything? Gotta be something. I guess there is actually nothing in here. Nothing of use. Great. Checking to see if there's anything behind the door. I have 26 grenades.
Oh Jesus. My leg is gonna break. My leg breaks were kinda screwed. Cause there goes half of my or a lot of my carrying weight. No! Oh my god. No. Actually, oh. Didn't mean to do that. Whew. <laughs> Did not mean to do that. At all. My apologies. Thank you, Ada. Got a loo first. In case something goes wrong. I suggest we take as much as we can carry. Wow, Ada, thank you for your revolutionary suggestion. I would have never thought of that. Alright. What? Auxiliary power off computers. Let's go in here and turn the power on. What? Um, okay. <laughs> Guess we're unlocking this dude's terminal. Likeness 1. Likeness 2. So it's either... I'm gonna take Guess and say... Take guess and say exiled. I was wrong. Alright. Dead removed. Tries reset what we needed. It says we're moving a lot of duds. I like it. I just want to see how many duds I can remove. Uh, 
Alright, so it's stores, circle, or minded. Got it. Knew it. I wouldn't concern yourself with it too much, Arnold. Virt Virtual Strategic Systems is a vetted contractor. They already put together in a fa they, yeah, they already put together a fancy little setup for the boys down in DC. They've said your VR system should have enough storage to house the Library of Congress need be, but that it won't be able to do much, much more than that until their tech installs the SIM software. Her credentials should be coming across your desk in the next couple days. This is Captain Wabash's terminal. Your reservations regarding your orders are noted captain but i guarantee you the reds will do as bad or worse if we give them the chance completing repairs to the democracy is now of the utmost priority if that means you have to work your folks around the clock so be it but if the democracy isn't on its way to the south china sea within the prescribed window you'll be the one doing the explaining to command so is this pre-war stuff yeah it's gotta be a containment leak on the democracy? Convenient, Arnold. Well, you got what you wanted. Your crew's been recalled and a hazmat team's been dispatched to clean the facility. It's going to be weeks until anyone can get inside safely, let alone deploy the sub. For your sake, Arnold, I seriously hope this leak was an accident, because if it wasn't, I'm going to file the court martial paperwork myself. Dang. We finally reestablished comms with Mount Desert today, and now you're XO. Um, I don't know. And now your XO tells me you haven't checked in in a week. To boot, he says the sub's launch key is missing. I should have thrown you in a cell when I had the chance. The East Coast is gone, and if the democracy was out there, maybe we could have saved New York, or Washington, or Boston. This is on you, Arnold. Their deaths are on you. And if by some si sick twist of fate you survive this mess, I'll personally make sure it's temporary. I don't know what it means by auxiliary power off. What do I have to do to turn it on? Ah. That makes sense. Oh god. Mutated. Oh, Jesus. Whoa, man. Chill, 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 chill. Lord have mercy. Oh, my God. Ada. Hey, yes. She carrying anything I can drop? I guess that works for now.
Okay, sorry about that. You can't do that in power armor. Great. Just go. What are you doing, game? Jesus. Oh. We're actually loading. What are we loading into? Whoa. Code. If you're listening to this, then you made it inside my memory banks. Take a moment. I know it's a lot at once. architecture you're seeing is data. My data. When I'm plugged into the chair, this is what I see. You're using an earlier version of that technology. A brainwave scanner instead of a direct neural wire. Look around. Do you see that yellow column in the distance? That's long-term memory storage. That's your goal. But you can't just retrieve that data yourself. One of the programs loaded in that holotape is called the Indexer. They're represented by the friendly green sprites milling around. Do you see them? The Indexers have one purpose, to get the data in the yellow column and bring it back to the memory access point. You need to help them get there and back safely. Once they've recovered all the data in the memory, the program will translate it into something you can understand. If you ever need to leave the simulation, then don't worry. Nothing gets reset. You can keep going from wherever you left off. Um. Good. You're across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green beam of light? That's yes. That's the decoder beam. It can destroy the firewall. You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. Need another block. Really, another one? Another one. Wait, aren't I supposed to redirect it? Good. You are across the gap. But now you have to deal with the security systems. That red firewall is blocking you and your indexers from reaching the data. Do you see that green oh. beam of light? That's a decoder beam. I'm dumb. It can destroy the firewall. You just need to direct the beam to its vulnerable spot. Oh god. I can't save. Oh. I almost didn't make that. Good. Now you just need to create a path to the data with code blocks, and your indexers can get to work. I have to create a path, really? They can't just jump like me. Alright. I think I need three blocks. Oh, I have to build 
blocks everywhere for them. Okay. So I have to set these up over here. Just don't fall off. <laughs> Now things will get hairier. Why are they running? You'll need to deploy defense constructs against the system's active countermeasures. The system sentries will do everything they can to stop your indexers from returning to the access point with the data. Go to work, guys. Data block retreat. Verifying memory file. 100%. We're done here. We now have an access point into the next memory. Just step into the data stream where this memory was stored. How many of these do I have to do? 